circuit Refer to module 060302D for more information on circuit venting for third year. To wet vent or to circuit vent. Okay, check this out. We are now going to establish the pros and cons of circuit venting as opposed to wet venting. In this animation, we will lay out eight stall urinals, two fixture units each, and two labs, one fixture unit each. Both layouts will be the same. However, we will wet vent the urinals first on the top, and then we will circuit vent the urinals last on the bottom half of the page. To start off, we will mark the wet vent in bold blue. Notice how it starts at the two labs and ends at the last urinal. All eight urinals are being wet vented. However, how many fixtures are in the wet vent? Yes, only seven urinals and two labs are affecting the size of the wet vent, as the last urinal is draining downstream of the wet vent into the branch. Hence, let's size the wet vent. Seven urinals, or 14 fixed units, plus two labs, or two fixed units, equals a total of 16 fixed units draining into the wet vent. Now open up your code books in the 2010 or the 2005, turn to table 2521 or 2581, depending on your code book year, and go to the not serving water closets column under a number equal to or bigger than the 16, which will be 36, and you will find that size of your wet vent is four inches full size throughout. This means that the wet vent is four inches right up under the sinks, which means that you need either a two by six wall or large cabinets under the vanity to cover up such a large pipe. So now we can see that the wet vent is actually four inches right up to the last Y connection to the last urinal, as well as four inches right up under the double TY to the la two lavatories. So now we're going to try the exact same layout with the same amount of fixtures on the bottom half of the page. Let's see how the circuit vent changes the size of the pipe, both the drain and the vent size. We will now attempt to circuit vent the same layout of fixtures. So let's begin on the bottom and let's illustrate where the actual circuit vent. Here is the circuit vent. It goes down to the lowest soil or waste pipe or the horizontal soil or waste pipe connection and continues up either to the vent stack, stack vent header or outside air. That is the red part. The red is the wet portion of the circuit vent. That is the solid line. The dotted line is the dry portion of the circuit vent. Now let's continue on with the dark blue pipe which is now our circuit vented branch. The circuit vented branch goes right up until the relief vent which is the green dash pipe downstream of the most downstream circuit vented branch fixture. So now we want to figure out the sizes for the circuit vent. So in order to figure out the circuit vented branch we need to turn to the branch table 24106B in your code books, which should also be labeled as the circuit vent branch table as well as the branch table. So how many fixture units are dumping into the dark blue pipe or the circuit vented branch? Well, every fixture unit this time is dumping into it for a total of 18 fixture units. Hence, the size of the circuit vented branch will be 3 inches on the last clean out, which is serving downstream of the most downstream urinal. Notice now how we have three clean outs on this drawing as opposed to the one clean out on the upper wet vented drawing. This means we can size the circuit vented branch section by section. It can be smaller at the beginning and bigger at the end. 
this you will find will be an advantage later on. So now we want to size the clean out above this clean out, this three inch clean out. This particular clean out is now going to be serving all the fixed units right up to the three inch clean out, which would mean a total of five urinals and two labs. Five times two fixed units is 10 fixed units, plus the two labs is 12 fixed units. If you look at your table, that will give you a two and a half inch branch, which doesn't exist in the trade, but it is in your code book. However, is that still the correct size? No, it isn't, because you have to look at clause 25319B, which tells you that if you have two inch traps or bigger in the circuit vented branch, this is a shortcut rule, then the circuit vented branch minimum size will be three inches. Hence, you will have to change the two and a half inches to three inches. Now, let's size the circuit vent above the circuit vented branch. And we will see that it also has to be three inches because that clean out is serving a three inch pipe. And clean outs must be as big as the pipe or as large as the pipe they serve. Now I want to actually size the vertical red solid line above the clean out. This is the wet portion of the circuit vented, of the actual circuit vent. There's only two fixed units dumping in this wet portion of the circuit vent, which are the two labs. Remember, there's no toilets on this circuit vent to branch. Therefore, you have to look at the wet vent table, 2521 or 2581, and look under not serving water closets, and you will find that its minimum size will be inch and a half in size. Hence, this is why we circuit vent a battery of commercial fixtures over wet venting them. Because we don't have a bunch of two by six walls in every building, we would prefer to put an inch and a half pipe draining downstream of the double Y under the two labs for a two by four wall. So that is one advantage of circuit venting. Another advantage of circuit venting is that you don't necessarily always have to put that green dashed pipe in downstream of the last urinal, which is a relief vent or a dry relief vent, which we size one pipe size smaller than the red dash line or the dry portion of the circuit vent. If there was a, let's say a bathroom group downstream of the last urinal, it could even be on the floor above or downstream later in a branch or the building drain, and it had actually only six fixed units or less draining into it, we could use its stack vent or its continuous vent as our alternate relief vent, which means we might not even have to put a relief vent in, in some cases, which means we only have one vent upstream of the circuit vented branch, which is another advantage of circuit venting. Circuit venting it was designed typically for laying out horizontal fixtures in a commercial application.